What's up everybody, it's Blaze from Funbox here and let's keep going with our series. Alright, this time we're going to actually sort the units that we spawn into the game because if we play it, and let's just let it build, if we play it we can see that we have four units which is good, but each of our units is not in the order of the speed variable that we want to. Now just to make you guys aware, GMS does have a sorting function for the for DS lists, but it isn't what we're looking for. And don't worry though, we are we're gonna have a look at it. Um, just keep that in mind that there is a function for it, but uh, it's not what we need. We need something that will actually sort things based off of the actual information that we have of our units not their IDs and we will show you that so keep these in mind have a look here because the first thing that we need to do is actually randomize these numbers because every time we start our game we are going to end up with seven nine three and five All right so let me show you that again it's gonna be the same thing so to fix that all we have to do is go into the manager create event and add in the randomize randomize function and essentially when we start the game it will it'll make sure that the numbers are going to be different every single time so just keep that in mind let's do it again so that we can see what happens one two seven six okay good all right that's done for now let's go ahead and create our sorting algorithm or rather let's take a look at what already exists here in in a gms so let's create our script. I'm going to call my script helper, but the function itself won't be called helper. We're going to change the function name to be bubble sort. If you guys aren't familiar with the sorting algorithms, that's okay. I will go through it very briefly here in this video because I know that in the theory section, I didn't really explain it that well. In fact, I don't think I explained it at all. So. Don't worry, we're going to cover bubble sort uh, very, very briefly in this video. But uh, for now, just fill in the information. We're going to write a function here called bubble sort, and it's going to take a parameter that is a list. And let's leave it at that. Actually, no, let's take a look at the function that the sorting function that DS lists have here in GMS. And it's simply called DS list, not lister, uh, right? DS list sort, there it is, and needs an ID. Now, for us, because we have here a parameter, we're just going to pass in that parameter. And the next, um, the next argument that it needs is whether we're going to sort up or down. Let's start with false because I actually know how this function works. Let's start with false and let's try putting it into our manager somewhere. So for you guys, you have a couple of options. You can either spawn your units first here in the initialize event and then sort those units or you can sort the units on each and every single turn. How you sort them, or rather when you sort them, is completely up to you. The reason why you have these two different options is because if you have it at the start of the turn, you would essentially just think about it in a sense, how can I, how can I explain it? Think about it like every single unit rolling some die right rolling a single dice or rolling a pair of die and that number is basically the order that they're going to be sorted in that would work better here in the start term if you just want to set up the order right at the beginning of the encounter then you put it up here and initialize you could of course experiment um, with those two ideas but for us we're going to use it in start turn because of the way that i actually set things up in my own version of this so here in the start turn phase we are simply going to call the bubble sort function here so let's call that here bubble sort and of course it needs that list parameter which we have here global dot units so let's take that copy and paste it i don't normally copy paste my own code but um just for the sake of time we're going to do it this way so let's try playing our game now. 
And you can see in our list up here in the corner that it goes from highest to lowest. Let's close this out, go back here into our helper, and let's flip this to true. Let's try playing our game. And it goes back to what it was before. So it starts from the lowest number and it goes up. How are we going to make it so that it reads the speed variable instead of the ID? Because that's how it's sorting it right now. It's based off of ID. You have two options. You can either copy your list into a DS priority queue, which is again, it's a, um, it's a data structure here in GMS. That's one option. You could do that. Or you could just use a sorting algorithm, which is what we are going to be working with today. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's get started with that. The first thing that we're going to do is take our list and read the size of it. So let's store that in a temporary variable. And I'm going to call mine list size. And it's basically DS list size of list. Just like that. And then we're going to, after we've stored that number, we are going to go ahead and we're going to run two for loops. So for var i, var i equals zero, i is less than list size minus one. Keep this in mind, okay? That it's minus one. And then we go i plus plus, All right? Just like that. The reason why we're going uh, list i minus one is because we're working with the objects or with the uh, values that are inside of the list itself, not with the actual size. But anyway, let's keep going. Inside of this loop, we're going to run another for loop. Okay, so for var this time j is zero, j is less than list size minus i minus one j plus plus okay so that's the next thing okay let me take a break here and let's go back to the document i'm going to use this space that we have here let's say that you have a bunch of numbers here i'm going to use uh let's go five three one two and four the way that bubble sort works is that let's pretend that this is j and this here is well j plus one plus two plus three plus four the way it works is it takes this value j and it stores it in a temp temp whoops actually no before that even happens it it asks a question is this value less than or greater than depending on which how you want to sort it do you want to sort it by lowest value first or highest value first it's completely up to you what we're going to do is we are going to sort uh, from fastest to slowest. So we are going to use less than just to, just to keep you guys aware. So we're going to take this first value and it's going to ask, is five less than three? It says, no, it isn't. It's greater than three. And so therefore we're going to take this five and we're going to store it in a variable, which we call temp. I'm doing my best to write with my mouse here. Temp then equals five. We're then gonna make it so that J, and let me just fill this in now, J, number three here is J plus one. Okay, so J, we then modify it to say J now equals J plus one, which is of course three. However, because we're swapping these two values, we then need to go ahead and say j plus 1 equals temp. Ah, mouse drawing is so difficult. Okay, j plus 1 equals temp. And then this pair is done. It then moves into the next pair and asks, is 5 less than 1? No. And then it runs through this again. It runs it again and again and again until we reach um, one, two, three, four, and five. That's basically how bubble sort works. And so if you have a large number of units in your scene, maybe using a different sorting algorithm would be much better suited than using what we're about to do, just to give you guys a heads up. But because we're only dealing with four units, 
it's it's a lot easier to go through. So let's go ahead and do that now. Like I said, we're going to take this first value, which is j, and we're going to compare it to j plus 1. So naturally, we're going to say if list at j dot current. And like I said, we are going to sort by speed. You can change this if you want. You can you can use a different value. You don't have to use the current speed, but we are going to work with the speed for our demo. So if list j dot current speed is less than list j, oh, no way, I need the accessor, j plus one dot current at speed. If it's less than that, it's going to take that value. And like I said here, it's going to store j into a temporary variable. So that shouldn't be five, that should actually be j. Right, so we need to swap the two. So we store j into a temp. So var temp equals list at j. And then we say list j is now list j plus one. And we're not done yet. We then need to go list uh, j plus one is now temp, All right? So hopefully there's nothing wrong with our code. Good, no, no errors there. And so, like I said, it's going to compare the speed of our first unit and it's going to take these two speeds. And if this speed is less than this one, then it's going to swap the two. And it's going to keep doing that until we have the order that we're looking for. In this case, what we're going to end up with is the fastest will go first, and then the slowest will naturally go last. So let's try playing our demo now and let's see how it sorts. Okay, good, no errors, which is exactly what we wanted. All right, let's take a look at this order here. We have seven, which is right at the top. It's got five speed, and it's followed by nine and eight. All right, so here we go, nine with four speed, eight with three speed, and then the last one here is six, which has only one speed. You could flip this around. If instead you wanted to go in the opposite direction, you could change that to greater than, and when we play our demo, you can see that it's now flipped. Eight, which has only one speed, is now at the top, and then seven, uh, seven here with three speed is next, and then we have six, which is five. And then nine is right at the bottom with seven speed. So that this symbol here, whatever this symbol is, you can modify, you can change it up. Now, there is also going to be cases, there will be cases where the speed might be the same for two different units, in which case you'll need to put in another check, right? So you might need to do something like if uh, list j dot current speed is the same as j plus one, and then you probably want to decide who gets priority over whom. So that's that's for you guys to fill in. But for our purposes, we're finished. This is our sorting algorithm. And if this was your first ever, then congratulations, you've you've gotten your first, your very first sorting algorithm. So this is it for now. We're gonna leave it here. In the next section, we will start adding in sequences, which is exclusive to GMS 2.3. So look forward to that. Hopefully I can find some some suitable sprites before then. Um, but that's the next section that we are going to cover. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.